A1, I would say it would be relatively easy to jump down and probably climb up, but now we have a rope, so let's do it a little bit more. Let's take way. Break this time, so that normally is a good thing. And we go in for the thief and put it down. Nice. Oh, now it uh, did it again. Uh, it kind of showed me that little. Radio icon in the top right corner. The Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve, it's your Ron, your man Ron. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for lookouts, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having, having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to BB at the spot. BB? BB. I don't know. Okay. Hey. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Or maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Okay, that looks like something from Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not something. Okay. Well, uh, what now? That way or that way? Oh, look, in the scenes, yes. We are. Ah, uh huh. What communication layer? Hawk's rest. Fox rest in Fox. Um, and who's the new guy they're talking about? Is that Ned or Okay, so it doesn't look like well there's like a little path going that way, but it doesn't seem to lead anywhere. And then we have one path leading to a PD meadow and it sounds like we need to go back to it. Look at that. Okay, well, let's check out if there's anything out here. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution, and stuff. Ooh, evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Man, she sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Yale. Yale? Yep, the Yale. <laughs> Shit, Henry. She flew back and forth. I hated it. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, anyway, that's her. <laughs> Wonder if she missed the was in that sentence? If she sure was. Okay. Yeah. Fence. Like. No, just. Interesting. 
Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm. Okay, so I had to use another reply again before one team is still talking. All right. Okay. anyone would be able to climb it right there actually. Okay, well, let's see. Nothing. We could go that way. If I off. Okay, this depends. It's down here before we move on. That's because I am curious. But that point. Uh, hello. Anyone here? You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. We didn't break up. We didn't choose to break up. She got sick. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. Okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we find anything, which we. I guess the wind, but it is sound pretty. Maybe. Yeah, I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Mm. Uh, did I miss something? So now we can go one or the other way. Oh, see if we can find something.
Hook A. Hook here. And that should bring us back to that path. The troll. Hook of fair or troll. Is it troll? Troll or fair. Fair. Hmm. Well, might be a good idea to at least touch the rope. So we can get back up to the play. Even though I want to go back. Uh, go back. Um, and, oh, yeah. Now the rope is there to use. Over this way, you see if there's anything. So it sounds like we're able to find something. After these um, young teenage girls that we are going to be following, or well, it might be someone else we're following, it's not okay. um, I'm kind of wondering if we're almost home, so it's a little. Oh, strange if we can find anything. Stop making those noise. <laughs> Noiseless. Speaking me out. Um, see. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Okay, yeah. That must be awful. And I'm still having that person with you that you love and... At the same time, they're not there. Mm. Oh, so we came from there. Well, let's see if there's anything up here then. Just blind. Okay. No. 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 Can't let me. Okay. Nothing. 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 A whole lot of nothing. Okay. So. Go. Oh, where well, the fence runs. You didn't see anything here, did you? Something there that says don't you like I think. Mm -hmm. No trespassing. Eighteen US code, something. Uh -huh.
Well, if they skip the fence, it looks like they would have gone to Jonesy Lake. of strange sounds. It's really, really creepy. Ooh. Sun hasn't gone down yet. Okay, I'm not finding so, anything. How'd you meet? Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you managed to look through that. Oh, so now did it again. Kind of popped up. But I don't know if it just means that it's kind of auto-saving when it does that. Maybe that's it. That little pop-up is like an auto-saving. I'm just gonna head out of here. And nothing. So apparently you can I saw in the uh, uh achievements that you can get a turtle as a pet or you can get bit by a raccoon or or you're stung by a bee, but I have seen nothing along those lines. Hey. Hmm? Oh, this is a bit of a longer trip. Uh, can I go oh, up wow. out? Quite amazing. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> mm, oh, that's the jump. Huh. And then we can go from there. I can look at the map. Okay. I can go down in the canyon, which is probably what I should be doing. Or I can jump to get back home. Oh, okay. Save the jump in there. Yes. It's quite beautiful, actually. Uh, <coughs> and repelling is actually quite fun, not like that I've tried it a lot. But, uh, the what are you going to do when the fire season wraps up? Oh. Are you going to mm. go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about it. Right now, I'm trying to hunt down some vandals, and I don't even know what I'm going to do when I find them. I'm not thinking very far ahead. You should go see her. She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Yeah. I'm with Delilah on this one. Uh, okay, well, this is where we came the other way back, wasn't it? When we went to the lake the last time. Mm. But if they jump, did jump the fence, they would have gone through Rapidi Meadow and watched the Georgie Lake. And oh, there was that treasure right 
Yeah, okay, cash three of my Do you see that? Yeah, I think so. That thin plume of smoke? Yeah. Looks like it's way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. You think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. And we are But that was actually that icon down there in the corner. Oh, campfire smoke. Yeah, it looks like a campfire or something, but it was on that like map that we found back in uh, somewhere. Uh, in two books, yes. Um, just can't remember what it said. Oh, and the witch, I guess. <laughs> that might be Delilah that we're referring to as the witch on the map that we found in that kind of fantasy map. Really unnatural thing. Yeah, but that's not really where we're supposed to go right now. Interesting in the uh I guess in the racks to be what that was about. Might be something Oh, there is the plume of smoke. Okay. Kind of an interesting plume of smoke though. Okay, what did I mean? Hmm. Because there's an old sweater inside, maybe. And there's definitely ducks around here. There was an old sweater. Copy information. Map of it. Now it's another note. Note. Okay. How about that. See what it says. Ron, got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. Yes, Amigos is Spanish and Profesionales is <laughs> Italian. Okay, Italian, okay. Uh, went down in the PD. Happened in the PD. Have we gotten a note about that? I don't think so, have we? Eh. Let's see. Yeah, that was 7th of July. And we have another date. 
How do I? Oh, okay. They really missed it. Um, so, uh, okay, I yeah, only have it today. Um, needing to talk. And going out with Debbie. So, the one that doesn't have the eight, but it seems to be before this one. Meaning to talk. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're missing anything. Mm. Yeah, a note that I didn't get. And then there's another boat. Mm. Richard Sturgeon. No one really likes Richard Sturgeon. And I know we have some cans. And I know it's right I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. Maybe it's one of the girls. I mean, it's been here a long time. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Hmm. What is that on it? Oh. Hmm. Trying to see what the icon or whatever it is that's on it. I don't know. Okay, well, I can pick it up, so let's see. Where's it supposed to be? A bitch is somewhere to the right of here. Now we'll be in here somewhere, according to that little map we found. If I remember correctly. Yes. Oh! oh the turtle! Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this is really good. <laughs> I like that. Jack Reynolds. Jack Reynolds. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Even unlocked. Love to touch. touch. That is cute. Wow, look at the view here. Pretty cool. This. This is a very nice spot. Okay, so we did find a turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. But there should be a treasure chest. Yeah. Um. Unless it's the turtle we are talking about. Um, that someone would call it a treasure chest. Not really seeing anything that can interact with or doing anything. Maybe we can't here. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is where it showed in this little corner here on that map. Okay, well, take a little look again. And this also smoked me, yes. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And I don't think we can get enough up on the other side of those hills or those uh, rocks. Well, it could be this that I meant, but I do believe both both were on there, and I do believe it was over there that was on this side of this little um, creek or whatever you'd call it. Um, okay, well, I'm getting myself completely lost now. So, we need to find it. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Find your way over there and give him hell. Okay. I'm done up. Hmm. 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 See, now I did again. It kind of up, eh? I can't even to think that it. Yeah, two folks. That it just means it's auto saving. 
been wondering that for so long, but I think that's what it means. Uh, okay, can I go here somewhere? Across uh, the meadow, so... There might be, because if I drag go all the way down there, and then I can go through, maybe? Maybe we can get you. Look like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I can follow the path I mentioned. Right. Was a different pathway. Right. This is probably the piece of the meadow she was talking about. Oh, I'm just hmm. on a trail. Okay. Yeah, and an old campfire. You were not recording that. That was strange. Report that. Oh. <laughs> Nothing to see. Uh, there's more over here. Wow, oh, someone is really, really, really leaving a lot of trash behind. Okay, yes, me. Couldn't do that in nature. That is not a good thing to do. I'm going to bring your stuff home with me. And that's not just me getting into character. My own personal opinion. Okay. See. So let's go up there. And here's some tools to plants and then this for the first climbing gear is where we need to go down the left. If there's an yeah, I am. Mm. Oh crap, that's freaked me out. Uh, there's a raccoon. Uh, I feel like I got a little pop up. You call no, I got. Okay, hello, little one. Um, there's a critter. Out here, <laughs> raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. Hey, hello. Yeah, you're aggressive. Pears, pears, pears. Yes. What the hell? I'm doing a crossword, and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. Oh. Did you go? Aw. Aw. I was about to take a little... Shut up that little bugger. Okay, well. Huh. Hmm. If we're gonna see it again. Otherwise it means I'll have to go through this again um, to uh, get that achievement. That's one that is I think it is to get be get bitten by one. I was not exactly hoping to get bitten. But I would expect that's what would happen if you made it over to it before she kind of interrupted us. Okay, well, uh, was that the whole little path? Mm. Interesting. Kind of two little paths going across this. Anything to see? Looks like you would be able to get there. Mm. 
open this um, Look like it's on the map so it looks like a part of it there, we have a part of it here. Ink. No, I'm not going to say it, are we? What is here? Anything of interest? Yeah, they do look quite adorable, those little raccoons, but they're not always too nice. People will refer to them as pests. I've never actually seen one in life, I think so. I've only seen them on TV. Not even in the zoo or anything. So anyway. I don't know if we have any in Denmark, I don't think we have. A little bit further, I can look off the path. Okay. So, so this is. Hmm? Well, we won't be able to get back up that way any anyway because we don't have rope going down. Yes, it's not the highest drop, so I think I would actually enjoy repairing here. Well, I've been a little bit afraid of heights, so the highest drops are not really nice. Um, and yeah, that's all pop up again, so I guess it's just safe. about being out here in the dark though. It was maybe enough before. How many, hikers go How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and... Realize it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? I didn't want to say anything. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! So... Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. Hey, so, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. He was in the army. He was off. 
It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Okay. Let's see. Missing person named Mitch Michaels, 831, height, weight, hair, short brown, distinctive facial. Okay. General info, Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. Last known location in the morning. Around Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981, vehicle info, a Ford, blue and white, okay, you see him contacted them or have more info, contact, yes, oh, uh, let's see, big face, okay, yeah, he kind of has a full beard, yeah, and, Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. 